Welcome back to Axolotl Army. Today I will be talking to you guys about a common problem in Axolotls, and I know what you're thinking. God, more freaking problems. But Axolotls can float for a variety of reasons, and I'm going to talk to you guys about what those reasons could be and how you can fix them. Usually you can tell if they're having issues if they're at the surface and either on their side or upside down. That's a good indicator. Also, you can gently scare them by maybe blowing on them or tapping them, and if they swim down to the bottom, which they most likely will, and they float back up without being able to stay at the bottom, then it's probably an issue. Oxalotls hate floating, and it's very stressful to them when they can't put their feet down on something. So some reasons why oxalotls float is that they can actually eat the air bubbles in your tank, uh, my oxalotls do this all the time, and it's super obnoxious, but I have sponge filters, and I used to have air stones, and oxalotls love bubbles. They love to swim through them and play in them. I think it feels really nice on their gills, and unfortunately, they like to eat them. Another reason your oxalotl could be floating is impaction. Never ever use gravel. This will lead to impaction and cause them to float. All my tanks are bare bottom, and I use giant rocks and make sure that they are larger than the size of their head, and that's my substrate. Another reason that your oxalotl could be floating is an ammonia spike in your tank that causes gas buildup in their gut. So when you have an ammonia spike, you won't know unless you check your parameters. And I would definitely recommend using a liquid test kit. Strips are not accurate, especially when it comes to ammonia. And even the liquid test kit can give you false readings with ammonia, especially if you use prime water conditioner. I highly recommend getting a test kit that specifically tests for ammonia in your water. Things that tend to stress out oxalotls will always cause gas in the gut. So this could be your temperature having a drastic change. You want to make sure that your levels in your tank, whether it be your parameters or the temperature in your water, stays consistent. This will reduce stress in them. Unfortunately, another thing that can put air in their stomach is those sinking pellets that you feed them. That's why I always recommend kind of soaking them before you put them in there. So just some tips on how to avoid getting air in your oxalotl's stomach. If they swallowed an air bubble for whatever reason, it usually passes within a couple days. Don't force food when your oxalotls are floating. They most likely will not take it. If they have air in their gut, they're not going to feel hungry, so they're not going to want to eat. You could also lower the water level. Um, this makes them feel safer because they can touch the ground. I don't do that because then it's very hard to filter your water, so I recommend tubbing and that way it's a smaller area for them to sit in and you can kind of keep an air stone in there and make sure that you're doing 100% daily water changes so that it stays clean. Also keep a regular feeding schedule. Typically what I find with my oxalotls is when I maybe go a little longer one day without feeding them, they tend to go and nip at the air bubbles more. So you can kind of avoid them eating the air bubbles by keeping that regular feeding schedule. And of course making sure that you're feeding them enough. Another thing you can do is offer them a plant or a cave that's super low to the ground because they can actually plant their feet on the side of it or whatever it be and that'll make them feel safer. Just make sure when you lift up these plants or caves that you're careful because they're probably going to be sitting in a really strange spot. I don't recommend fridging. Just, I mean, I don't recommend it in general for anything. I think changing the temperature drastically is not a safe thing for oxalotls. You're more likely to give your animal more stress, which in turn will cause more gas in the gut. If it gets too severe and your oxalotl goes a long time without eating and cannot pass this air bubble, try and find a vet that specializes in exotic animals and maybe specializes in amphibians. Um, I'm not lucky enough to have one of those by me. And you might have to drive pretty far, but it's worth it if it's for the health and safety of your animal. And you can ask your vet to gently massage out the air bubble. And I do not recommend doing this on your own because they are very fragile creatures and you do not want to hurt them. So definitely try and find a trained specialist that is willing to do that for you. But like I said, it's typical for oxalotls to get air bubbles. It happens all the time and they're most likely going to pass it, even if they're sitting on their side or upside down. Hopefully these tips were helpful and you can use them in your own tank. And again, as always, if you have any questions, you can comment down below or I am on Instagram as oxalotl army. Thank you guys for watching.